What is up, everybody? Welcome back. It's your boy, Skinny Penis. Um, are you wondering, did I just put on a hat and then record another video and I'm going to post it a day later? Yeah. That's what, hap that's what is happening. So, we did World of Warcraft Burning Crusade dungeon tier list. So, I thought we might as well do World of Warcraft classic dungeon tier list. Now, I tried to search for one that broke up some of the multiple part dungeons, like Scarlet Monastery, Maraudin. Couldn't find one that worked well for me, so we're just going to count them as a whole dungeon, and I'll kind of uh, go through each section and give it a full rank. Before we get started, I have to say, when I started looking at these and thinking about all the years that I've played World of Warcraft, they really did have a lot more creativity during Classic, during Vanilla, when they came up with these dungeons. I think that mechanically they're very easy and boring, but I think the big picture, like what they look like, how they are laid out, like are way more exciting than stuff that came out later, in my opinion. I think that they took some of these dungeons, were able to transform and transform some of the mechanics better, but I just love, like, it really feels like an adventure in some of these dungeons. And that's why I uh, really enjoyed Classic, even though I still never did Max Aramis on Classic. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump into these dungeons. I'm, I put them in a layout from when you first encounter them to... So, like, obviously you would start with Ragefire Chasm and so on. Uh, let's begin. Ragefire Chasm, I think, is a great starter dungeon. You don't have anything crazy going on, but you know what? When you get into, oh, and I'm, I'm basing these off of if you have a group of five individuals, the same level, the same gear, like no carries, nothing like that. Otherwise, a lot of these dungeons would be dog shit. So if you were a brand new character with brand new people, how cool are these dungeons? I think Ragefire Chasm is a great start. I think that it's fun. It's kind of adventurous the the actual area is really cool like you're in you're next to lava it's like one of the first times you see lava in the game it's it's kind of cool it's not great i'm not saying that it's the end all be all and when you compare it to some of these other ones it really uh falls short while we're doing this on the fly because i'm a one take charlie type of guy we don't do multiple takes here we're going to go ahead and add a new row. We're going to rename it to F for fucking sucks. There we go. Oh, we got to change the color on that. Let's do, what's a, we red, yellow, where are we at? Like blue? Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to start, we're going to put Rage Fire to C. Average, I think it's fun, it's doable. There's a party, I'm going, like, if I'm in Orgamar, I'm level 13. That's what I'm trying to do. Next, we have arguably one of the most entertaining dungeons at the specific level, if you run it from like, it's like 17 to 22, is Wailing Caverns. I think, in all honesty, layout, visuals, and the whole grand scheme of WC, it has got to be one of the cooler dungeons they've made. It's, it can be tedious, and the length of it is, uh, <laughs> it, it can take a long time. I was going to make a really piss poor joke, but I decided not to. Uh, you can really, I don't know. I, the best way to put it is if you have a decent group around that level, you're going to be in there at least an hour and a half. I think that's kind of the downfall of it. But overall, I have a lot of fun. WC is a staple and forever will be a staple in World of Warcraft. I'm going to put it... Uh, we're going to put it at B. And we're going to come back. Shadowfang Keep. I personally think Shadowfang Keep was one of the best dungeons that they've done, that they did in the original Warcraft. I think that it, layout-wise, perfect doesn't take too long it has some challenging fights if you're at that level if you're not if you haven't ran it and got some blues or greens if you're going in there with like early quest gear it's kind of tough it's the first time you get inside like a castle that has like some 
really tough elites. Just that I remember, like as a kid, the first time I went into Shadow Finky, it was like a moment in time. I was like somewhere like spooky. It's just it's one of the best. We're gonna go A. I I, I might change these once we go through all of them, and I justify these out in my head because I don't, you know, I'm a true YouTuber. I don't. Uh, record these I, I don't come up with thoughts before i do it you know that's that's boring you get my genuine reactions dead minds now dead minds becomes really prevalent in later expansions because it's less scary to go and do dungeons across the sea i think that dead minds is super underrated i think the first part of it is really boring and the bosses or whatever but when you open up that door and you see the big ship and you get to go explore that ship it's super cool i also like cookie i don't know if cookie was in classic or not i can't remember but that fight is super fun i think dead mines doesn't get the credit it deserves we're gonna go b tier black fathom deeps all right I really like the location of it and how you get into the instance, right? You got to jump down in the weird temple thing. It's kind of ominous. It's you got to go through some uh, creatures to get to the actual instance. A lot of those, a lot of these places do that. But the dungeon itself, yeah, I don't know. the The coolest part, and I wish that they did more of this in Warcraft in general was like the parkour section and it's super fun to take people who are new to the game and try and <laughs> watch them do the parkour section uh shout out bieber if she watches this because uh she's new to the game and i took her over there and she failed at the jumps multiple times and i was dying wheezing talking to her and she was not happy about that but the rest of the dungeon i give or take i really don't think it's anything special I think so far it's the worst one on the list. I just, if I won't go out of my way to go do Black Fathom Deeps if I'm leveling a new character, but if I'm over there and someone wants to group up or we get a group four, then I'll do it. Stockade, as a Horde player, I don't have much experience with the Stockades. When I, I dabbled in the Alliance, I don't know, like, during one of the expansions after legion uh maybe i did it when they brought out dungeon finder i don't know it's really boring there's no real cleverness to it or any creativity to it in my eyes it's just kind of like oh here's some here's a prison i feel like they kind of got pressured into doing that because like you have rage fire chasm for the horde in orgamar so i guess they need one in their main city kind of shitty I can give it up to you. I maybe an alliance person can give me some insight on why it deserves to be better, but I don't think I would rate it any higher. Uh, Razorfin Kroll. I think it's a good staple dungeon for leveling up. It's not the best. It's kind of fun. I really, really like the atmosphere of it, like with the big thorns. The quill boars are kind of cool creatures. The boss fights, eh, whatever. The bats are cool. There's a quest where you get to go get their poop. That's really funny because it makes me think of Ace Ventura every time because you got to go collect guano and the guano bowl. The escort quest is kind of challenging, which is fun. But it's not like, I don't know. I, I don't get excited if there's a group going for it. Uh, it's better than RFC, but not not great. No Morangan. I, as a Horde player, again, I don't have a ton of experience running it, but the times that I do, I think it's super creative. I love the design of it. You can actually get lost in this place. I think it's a lot of fun. I think that it's one of those dungeons that you got to have some time to do it, and it's challenging at level. Um, I don't, I don't, can't, I really can't say a lot about it because I've only ran it a handful of times during this re-release of vanilla wow but it was a good time i think it deserves to be on the b list but not better than wc or dead Mines. all right so this is when i wanted to be able to break up these dungeons that have multiple parts 
and that's with Scarlet Monastery. I think we all know Scarlet Monastery is the true, probably one of the most pure dungeons in Classic. Everyone has to run it, everyone will run it, everyone seems to enjoy running it. Now, if we ignore the fact that boosting is a thing, I think Skylight Monastery is S tier. Obviously, Graveyard's kind of dumb, but it's there for a reason. Boosting kind of ruins Skylight Monastery just because everyone has been in there a million times. But I think as far as like an adventure standpoint, an RPG standpoint, and actually running it as a group, it is one of the best dungeons in Classic. I mean, the bosses are fun. The armory, the last guy in armory, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Awesome. The library's fun. Release the hounds, all that jazz. Cathedral is, you know, you walk in there and you see all the mobs and you're like, oh shit. And you clean out the actual cathedral of all the people. A lot of fun. I, I'm hard pressed to put that lower. I would be willing to argue why that one deserves to be there if anyone thinks it doesn't. Uh, yeah, that, if, if we were to break it up into four sections, I think Cathedral and Armory are S tier. I think Library is A tier, B tier. And then I would think Graveyard is like C tier. But having two S tiers, I got to put in S tier. Uh, Razorfin Downs, I really enjoy that one. I think that it is much better than its counterpart, Razorfin Crowl. I think that the bosses are more exciting. I love the layout of like going through the spiral mountain inside the dungeon is super cool and exciting. Again, with a five-man group, it can be challenging. The skeleton boss that's rocking out is an awesome scene to see for the first time. The escort quest is great. I think RFD is definitely one of the better lower end dungeons. I guess this is mid 40s, right? I'm going to put that I'm going to put that B tier better than WC and Deadlines. All right, Zulfrak. I'm putting ZF S tier. Here's why. The first time you do ZF and you go you go into the final area, right, and you see this big Aztec-like temple, and you got to climb up there, you kill the dude, you release the homies, and you're about ready to walk back down, and you just see a mob spawn, right? Just like 40 or 50 dudes. That is one of the coolest moments in World of Warcraft Classic, because it's just like, holy shit, what are we going to do? Difficulty, it's not hard. It really isn't. But I think that whole dungeon's layout is awesome. The bosses are cool. They're different. I've, I'm i a huge fan of the troll voodoo um, like aesthetic that they've had in the game since the beginning. You know, the voodoo masks, the voodoo attire, I think it's one of the best. I'm super duper excited for Burning Crusades at Zulaman because I think that's some of the coolest looking gear that ever comes out. Uh, but we're putting, I'm putting ZF at S tier. It's not, I don't think it's as much of a staple as Scarlet Monastery is, but I love running it and I'll always go out of my way to run it if I can find a group. Marauden. Ah, Marauden is a tough one when it's not split up. I think purple and orange side are very boring. I could care less about them, but Princess Run is pretty cool. The boss, like, the actual mobs and stuff aren't that cool, but the scale is really cool. I love the way that it looks. If you zone in, you fall into the waterfall, or if you go through the orange side or purple side, you have to jump through the water, or jump down the waterfall. All the mobs are big and grand. You know, the first rock dude is... A huge rock giant princess itself she's beautiful she's a queen she's thick i mean she's the princess we need you know she thick thick thighs saves lives you know it's 
it's definitely one of the better ones, Princess, but I don't, I think because of orange and purple, it doesn't deserve to be that high of rank. I'm going to go ahead and put that one, uh, I'm going to put it on B, but it's going to be the worst in the B sections. I just, it's, yeah, I, I can't give it any higher. If it, if Princess was alone, I would put Princess in A, and then I would probably put the other two at like a C, somewhere around those lines. Oldman, I think Oldman gets shit on quite a bit. In my personal opinion, I like Oldman quite a bit because of how confusing the inside of the dungeon actually is. I know a lot of people hate it for that reason, but there's so much shit to do in that dungeon, and I think it makes it super duper exciting. I have a great time running it, but I will say this, it's not a dungeon that I'd want to like run multiple times with a group i'm one and done i'm out of there i've i think i ran it maybe three times all during classic but i enjoyed those three runs but it's like watching a super long awesome movie it's great but do i want to watch it every day probably not with that being said i think it still deserves to be in the b section i would put it Better than Gnome Ring and better than Maraud and not going to put it above these ones. All right, Black Rock Depths, the damn marathon of a dungeon. I don't know what people think of this dungeon, but for me, if I got a group of friends and I have two and a half hours, three hours, maybe a little shorter now that we're all now that you know dungeons are easy i am all about running black rock depths i think black rock depths for me is an a i think it's better than shadow fang keep it is it, it's one of those ones that you'll literally run from f what 48 into 55 56 and i personally think it's fun there's so much to do there's so many unique bosses you get to do the the what is it the ring of law or whatever the loot in there is crazy. I mean, when Classic was live, some of the best gear dropped in Blackrock Depths. You know, every every melee DPS need hand of justice, and every, what was it, plate wearer, mail wearer wanted the Savage Gladiator chest. I think that's what it's called. It's been a while. It's It was just a fun dungeon. I could see why some of the people who uh, had to run it like three, 400 times, you know, some of my friends, like shout out Zuki. Uh, had to run that shit thousands of times to try and get it but at the end of the day i think if you're taking in a group of people similar level similar geared you're gonna run black rock depths like it was intended to you're gonna have a fun time doing it sunken temple <laughs> i think everyone is kind of on the same page when we just say like fuck sunken temple right i the layout of Sunken Temple and the aesthetic of Sunken Temple seem so cool, but there's just something about running that dungeon to me and I think to a lot of people that just isn't enjoyable. Like I the best way to put it is like if some if I needed Sunken Temple and I get a group for it, I'm like, man, I haven't ran Sunken Temple in so long. This is gonna be super fun. And then I go run Sunken Temple and then twenty minutes in I just say, Oh my god, I think my cat's on fire and then all F four and don't come back. I don't know. It's not that it's challenging, but it's just there's something about Sunken Temple that's just not that enjoyable. Aesthetically, it looks awesome, though. And I think that the big dragon at the end is cool. I like fighting dragons. All the mobs look cool. And, you know, you got to kill the mini bosses and to kind of get the final bosses. And if you drop the layer below, you got to move the statues and shit. Like, yeah, that's cool, but overall, I just can't be bothered to run it. Uh, that's why it's gonna go a little bit better than Black Fathom Deeps, just because I think it's more enjoyable, but I'm not looking forward to it. Dire Mall is the hardest one on this list, aside from Stratholme, when it comes to ranking, because there's 
Dire Maul West, North, and East. And I think they all deserve to be their own dungeons. That being said, I don't know how to rate this one. I don't. I think Dire Maul North is probably an A tier dungeon. Just because you can run it and kill all the bosses. Or you can run it and have like a hardcore mode. Kill none of the bosses. Get extra loot. You have to do it for certain things. It's how you got buffs. Which, you know, if you raided, buffs are a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. That's a different conversation for a different time. Dire Maul East and West, however. I mean, Dire Maul West is kind of cool. East is kind of boring. Yeah, I played a mage, so I farmed a lot of East. Doing the plants and stuff. I, I think the best place to put Dire Maul as a whole is probably B tier above RFD. I really is close to being an A tier, but I just can't. I can't do it in good faith. I can't say that Dire Maul is as good as BFD or Shadowfin. Uh, lower Blackrock Spire. I personally despise that dungeon. I think it's the most difficult and not in a fun way of the five mans. And it's long and boring and not in a fun way. It's well, it's long and hard and not in a fun way, I guess I should say. Haha, <laughs> funny joke, dicks. Um, I, I don't like the layout of it. I don't like the aesthetic of it. There's not many redeeming qualities aside from loot and the pets. Because I like pets. You can get the spider and the dog. The final boss is boring. I just don't think that, that one's great. Now, if Upper Black Rock Spire was on here, I guess the, whoever made this considers that a raid. Upper Black Rock Spire, in my eyes, is an S tier. Probably better than both of these. I don't know if that's shocking for some people. I'm going to talk like... Ubers is here. I think Ubers is one of the best dungeons made. I I, can't, I I know we have to kind of call it a raid, I guess, but no one considered it a raid. It's super enjoyable. I love the opening part where you got to clear out everything to be able to unlock the door. First boss is kind of boring. Obviously, we all know Leroy Jenkins area. If you actually do that part, kind of tough. I think Drek'thar is one of the coolest boss fights in the five-man category. I love Beast. The first time that you go and fight Beast is like, holy shit, are we going to be able to kill that big thing? And then the final boss, having to kite it, or it's super difficult, I think that's a great dungeon. Uh, I would put that above Scarlet Monastery, and but it's not on here. But we're going to put one above Sky Monastery. And that's Skull of Mance. Now, Skull of Mance is long and tedious. But I, I, I don't think anyone could disagree with the fact that there is a lot of variety going on in that dungeon. There are tons of bosses with tons of different classic mechanics. I think they're all fun to do. I think the trash is challenging but fun. And I think that the final bosses into the final boss are super fun. I think I love the idea of all the rooms being right next to each other. They're all different bosses and different trash that all do different things. You get little like little like self servings of each of them, and then you get to do the final boss, which I think, even though the final boss is super easy, the mechanic of teleporting a member is super cool and i kind of wish that we would see that more often but sadly they don't and i wish they would do that and make it more difficult i wish i i always wish they would and maybe we'll see it one day where they do like a classic plus and have like heroic modes of these but like like teleport your party and everyone has to like solo kill something like it's just a cool idea and last but not least the hardest one to rate because I really think you have to split D strat and L strat up. Okay. If D strat was here, D strat would be number one on my list. 
an S tier, the best dungeon in the game of Classic, in my opinion. I think that it is a lot of fun. I love all the bosses. I love the gauntlet at the end. I love the mini bosses that come out of the final bosses area. The final boss is probably one of the toughest five-man bosses out there. And obviously the chance at a mount, because I'm a mount person. I love collecting them. I love all the pets. Even though I have, over the years I've played this game, I've probably killed that fucker two or three thousand times and have never seen that mount. I love the idea of it being there. I love the idea of people who grind it and get it because I think they deserve it. I think D-Strat's one of the best. But here's the problem. I think L-Strat is one of the worst. So it's hard rating Stratholme as a whole. My reasons for not liking L-Strat is they just kind of rip Scarlet Monastery at the end and the the pathway to get to that point is not exciting and is tedious and annoying. I think that the boss is in there. Meh. The cannonball dude is kind of cool just because you don't really see that mechanic anywhere else, but it's not it's not cool enough to make it a grade A dungeon. The final boss is eh, whatever. I think because D strat is so good, I'm going to put it up here at A. If we just assumed that this was D strat by itself, I'd probably go here, have Upper Black Rock Spire at the two spot, have Skolo at the three spot. Since it's not, we'll go here. Upper Black Rock Spire is my number one. Skolo SM ZF. Uh, is there anything that I want to adjust? I think I do. I think there's a couple things that I want to adjust. I'm going to move Maraudin down here. I'm going to move, I think in good faith, I need to move, no, I, I like that. <clears throat> Sunken Temple, I think deserves average. I think that it's wrong to put it down there, but I think having no Meringue and a Maraudin at B isn't correct. And I think RFK, yeah, that's right. RFC, I, I think, I think RFC's got to be there. Stockades and Lower Black Rock Spire there. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with this tier list. And pretty good numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Above average, four average, and then four below average. I think that that's pretty pretty fair yeah I think that's all I gotta say about it um, I will be doing a classic raid um, tier list probably after this and then uh, we'll go from there we'll see we'll see what else I can find and then there's a bunch of other tier lists I'm gonna do that aren't World of Warcraft related so thanks for hanging out I will drop up a, a, a playlist of shit and then another best viewer one and then a subscribe button because if you don't subscribe i'm going to faction change all of your characters to alliance and make you suffer on servers where horde are more dominant which are all of them because the horde are the doms of the game thank you guys for hanging out catch you on the next one